Good morning. It's Friday, October 30th, so it must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. And as a reminder, we're still in that early voting period. So if you haven't voted yet, don't forget, you can look up your sample ballot on the State Board of Elections website so you can do all your homework, education, look up the candidates on your own. Um, there's a judicial voter guide that you can see on the State Board of Elections website as well. It's also available on the Medical Society 2020 Voter Tools Kit that we've created for you to put all of those links into one place. As a reminder, if you did uh, request an absentee ballot or you were trying to vote by mail, you can still drop that off, that ballot off at an early voting site during early voting. So um, if you've received by mail, also if you don't decide you don't want to use that absentee ballot, you can still vote um, at a early voting location too. So you have either, either option. Um, voting election day is this Tuesday. So I'm excited to watch those results come in this Tuesday on election night. I know you're excited too. Out of North Carolina is approximately 7 million voter, registered voters. Over 3 million, 3.5 million almost, have already voted in this election cycle. And we are way ahead of our turnout um, at this stated point than we were in 2016. So I'm really interested to see what those turnout numbers look like on our final election night. I think this is my prediction that we'll hit um, our highest turnout percentage. Um, so we'll make history, I think. That's my prediction. We'll talk about that uh, some more next week. Uh, lots of close races in, the, in this state. So I will be closely following these on election night. So we'll have a lot um, to talk about next week. So um, hope you vote. Please get out there and vote. Encourage your peers and patients to vote too. Look forward to talking to you soon.